Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create a customized um, curtain wall and how we can change the mullion. So I'm going to open maybe a new model. I'm going to go to metric uh, template, default metric, OK. Uh, maybe I can set the units uh, by typing UN two meters with three decimal places. Okay, so how about I uh, just quickly show you a simple curtain wall. So I'm gonna go to storefront and I'm gonna just draw a wall here. Let's take a look at it. Okay, we want it to go from level one to level two and I want to make a save as here, edit type, duplicate and I want to name it as custom curtain wall. Okay, so how about I get rid of this mullion here and I can go with grid here, vertical no, horizontal grid, I want to go with known. Okay, so it's going to get rid of that grid line, that's okay. And now you see that we have simple rectangular mullions, both horizontally and vertically. Now how, how I can change them? Uh, well, you can go to edit time and you see that it reads the type from here, right? But I want to change it not to circular, not to other rectangular types, but to something which is customized by myself, right? So I want to say cancel. Okay, we are good here so far. I want to open a new Revit family. And what I'm interested in is profile for the mullion. So let's say open. Okay, so you see this side is exterior, this side is interior. If I go to my wall here, okay, uh, you can flip it, right? And you see that where uh, the mullion ends is actually different uh, on the exterior and on the interior side. So let's go here. Uh, let's say maybe I'm going to consider it uh, from the exterior or from the interior going outside. So let's do that. I'm going to go to line. I'm going to draw maybe a rectangle. Let's say maybe this side of it is 200 and this side of it is 400 millimeters. And uh, I can move this to the center. So now if I use this mullion it's going to go from the interior to the exterior side. And let's say just to make a difference with the uh, custom rectangular mullion, I'm going to uh, change it here, go to line, create line, and I'm going to go with one arc here, maybe. Okay, so maybe this is my profile. How about I save this file as P1? So I'm going to go with save. Uh, I'm just going to save this as P2 because I have a P1 here in the options. I want to set one back up here. OK and save. So this is my P2. And if I load this into project right now, if we go here, the, the profile is here, but it's not assigned yet. How can we assign it? We actually need to select one of the mullions. You can hit tab unlock it so it's not grayed out anymore, edit type, duplicate, and I want to name it uh, P2. Actually, how about I name it M2? So M2 has a profile uh, P2 in it. I'm going to say OK. And you see that the profile is reading from here, which is the default profile of Revit. I can change it to P2. So now that I loaded the family P2 here, it shows in the drop down menu in the mullion type properties. So I'm going to say OK, OK, and you see now it's here. Let's check it. Now let's say maybe I want to assign this to all my mullions. The easy way to do so is actually by going to the edit type of the curtain wall, and we can say that to all the vertical mullions, assign M2. M2 is the mullion that we created, right? I can also assign M2 
to all the horizontal ones right okay now if I go to level 1 you see that uh, if this side is interior this side is exterior all of these actually start from interior towards exterior and if I flip the wall it's gonna be the same so uh, this all makes sense uh, and if you want to change the material uh, you can select one of these how about I put this uh, shaded so we can see the colors and everything and if I go to edit type material is here so maybe let's say this is made out of wood I can select the wood material from here or I can create my own material and uh, it's called as default new material I want to rename it as wood for the mullions and how about we go to the library and in the asset browser I want to type wood let's type wood here uh, let's say I want to go to this wood here it has different types of woods I want to go with walnut and double click on it it's going to be a sign uh, it's good in appearance in graphics it's going to be gray uh, well if you want to see the color in shaded mode it's not a bad idea to change the color here too so I'm going to say OK, let's say OK and OK. So now you see when it's unshaded, it's going to be orange because that's the color we assign. When it's on, like realistic, it's going to look more like a wood material. Uh, now let's say maybe for the vertical mullions inside, we're going to have a different profile. So I'm going to go to reference level here. Uh, this is our family P2. I want to make a save as and I'm going to name this as P3. One backup is enough and this one I want to change this part and maybe I can go with a different uh, set of lines. Maybe around here I have a little bit of a um, horizontal line and then I want to have actually let me mirror this on the other side and then I want to have an arc in between them so from here to here so let's say maybe this is our uh, middle uh, profile so I'm gonna save this I'm gonna load this into project okay and now if I select one of these mullions and I go to edit type, duplicate it, and go with M3. Okay, I can change this to P3. So now Mullion M3 uh, is gonna read the profile P3 here. Okay, right. Now let's say maybe I want to assign this profile to all the vertical ones. Instead of selecting them one by one, unlock and assign from here, you can select the whole wall, go to edit type, and now you're gonna say, to vertical mullions which are these ones to interior type we're gonna assign M3 now all the ones in the middle are M3 uh, the frame uh, on the top and the bottom and on the sides it's uh, M2 so this seems good uh, for now it's good here in the next video we're gonna talk about more capabilities of curtain panel systems